uh, welcome to our second day of this class. Uh, so today uh, we will talk about relational database. Uh, so for relational database, so normally we may spend like four or eight weeks to talk about relational database. So today just we just want to touch the basics of the relational database and also similar that we'll introduce the basics of SQL. So I think the, <clears throat> the major goal of this class is that to provide you a very quick view that how we can deploy relational database in the cloud and also see how that how that is different by deploying a relational database on the local environment. Okay, so you may have learned relational database or you may not have learned, so that's fine. Uh, so basically, the database is where we are uh, storing the data, organizing the data that can help us uh, to make queries easier and also faster. Uh, so if you have used Excel, <coughs> you will realize that in Excel, all the data are organized as tables. So on Excel, there are several columns and we have several rows. Okay, so for example, we have the ID column, um, we have the name, uh, for example, if it, it is talking about students, uh, gender, uh, date of birth, and also major, etc. Okay, uh, so in Excel, we organize those data uh, into different sheets, and also um, that is a similar way, the similar structure that we organize data in relational database. So in relational database, <clears throat> we organize the data into those tables. Okay, so this is the one table that recording the students, and we may have other tables that recording like professors, class information, etc. Uh, it is called relational database because those tables are related with each other. So for example, this is a student table, and we may have also another enroll list Okay, so in the enroll list, um, we may have the, the class number, CID, and also the student number, student number, and also course number. Okay, so for example, we have student one, two, three, and in this enroll list, we have course, let's say, this class is size uh, 480. We have student one enrolled, and we have another class, 480 and we have student two enrolled. Uh, probably we have another class that is, I don't know, 120, and student one enrolled that class as well. Okay, so those two tables are related with each other, uh, so that is why we call it relational databases. Okay, uh, so basically uh, we are using those columns, so each column to represent one unique feature of the entities, uh, all, uh, all the object that, that we are talking about. So for example, this is representing the student ID. This is the name, gender, <coughs> date of birth, etc. And each row is recording, is talking about the record of one entity. So for example, this is student three, uh, and the name, uh, Chris, gender, uh, male, and also date of birth, 2000. Okay, so something like that. <clears throat> uh, one thing you may have heard about relational database is called ACID. Okay, so ACID is a uh, one feature of the relational database. So um, that actually distinguish the relational database from those non-relational database. Okay, so that means that atomicity, so transactions are all or nothing. So that means uh, when I insert multiple records into the table, so either all the records have been successfully inserted or nothing being inserted. So we'll make sure that all the records inserted uh, will follow the structure that we defined. Okay, and the consistency. So only valid data is saved. So for example, for this 
age, so you can define, okay, for our date birth, you can define that, okay, the date birth is a date format. Uh, so if you type a string, it will not be accepted. Transactions do not affect each other. So for example, if there are multiple users that are uh, reading the data, or uh, if there is a single user that are uh, modifying the data in multiple times, so each single transaction will not affect each other. So that is guaranteed in relational database. And durability. So the data is saved on hard disk, so it's not in the memory. So when the data is there, it will be there. Okay, so uh, it's not in the memory. So that those are the four features of the relational database. <clears throat> Let's look at the, the most common relational database. So SQL Server is one of the most popular used one. Uh, someone have already used Access, so that is com that comes with Office if you install. And Oracle has some um, very great products. And MySQL is one of the most popular free relational database. And of course, they are the others. Okay, so the two most common free relational database, one is MySQL, one is PostgreSQL. So those are two of the most widely used relational database. Uh, we are going to use this one as a, as a demo in today's lab because it is free and also it has a lot of support from the uh, communities. Okay, uh, so let's talk about some uh, basic objects uh, or the terminologies in the relational database. So first one is a server. <coughs> server is uh, just an instance that hosts your database. Okay, server is an instance that hosts your database. So for example, you may think that there is a computer that um, hosts your database. So uh, a computer can have multiple servers, actually. And within each server, and you can have a database. OK, within each server, and you can have several databases. OK, so each server can contain multiple databases. So database is a container of the other objects, such as tables, Views, uh, functions, and also indexes. Schema is a logic container for tables and also other objects. Okay, so within each database, you can have multiple schemas. Okay. Okay, so this is a server. So multiple schemas. So you can consider schemas of different folders in a database. So within each different folders, you put your tables within each different uh, folders. We just said table. So table is uh, the basic unit to, to store the data. So each table normally store the data talking about one identity, for example, student table, and professor table, class table, etc. And all those tables are related with each other. View is a similar to the table, but a view is a virtual table that is used to simplify the complex queries. Okay, so for example, uh, when you have a table and you don't need all the results of the table, so you, you may define a query and also you will have a temporary result, so that is the table, okay, and that is the view. So after the query, so you have a temporary result and you can save this view in your database. So next time when you want to get a result, you don't need to retype the query, you just need to, okay, show me the view, so you will have the result. So for example, if you want the average score of all, your, all the students, okay, so this, this table have the scores of the student taking this class. So if you just want average scores, so you can define the query, and also that will give you a view, and you can save that view. Okay, so in different schemas, you have multiple tables and you can also save multiple views. Okay, uh, functions, we will not talk about functions, but functions are just basically, in most cases, just a set of the SQL code that you, you can use to customize um, 
uh, your query or you can customize some data process, data analytical process.